Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining me. It's Ask Maniza Live. I have not been on live for a while, so here we are. I guess I should say Happy New Year since we haven't really seen each other for a while. Um, and this is the first live of 2024. Hard to believe that it's 2024 already. How are you all doing? I hope you're really, really well. Asalaamu Alaikum, Ita. Nice to see you here. Hi, Christy Barkley. Nice to see you here. So many incredible faces showing up today. I hope you like my flowers. I just love flowers in the winter. They add so much color and brightness to um, our lives, right? Uh, Bertie says you cannot hear me. Um, can you all hear me? Let me know. Who can hear me? I am wearing headphones. I am like doing all the right things that I'm supposed to do to be able to be heard on a live. Sound is actually good. That's good to know. That's good to know. Megan, hello. Sunny in Minnesota, hello. Colleen Marie, hello. Nana, hi Nana, thank you. Such kind words. Um, okay, everyone can hear me. That is awesome. I am on my second round of 369 Cleanse and uh, really loving it. Um, I always love doing the cleanse, so I'm doing super well. Um, I, uh, Ita, that's really funny. <laughs> I am uh, enjoying the cleanse. I'm doing brain shots. I'm fully raw. It's just really lovely to really settle into the protocols. I think this is a really good time of the year because we don't really have to... Um, you know, we don't really have to be pushed into parties and lots of socializing and, um, you know, all of that. So it's just a quiet time, which I really love. So I love doing that. So yes, I'm doing the advanced 369, which is one of my favorite things to do. I love that cleanse so much. It's helped me release some very deep symptoms in the past. And I'm at it again because I want to go deeper and into my healing, cleansing the liver even more and getting myself into a place where um, I feel like just amazing. So I know it's possible. I know it's possible for you. It's possible for me and we can all heal and get better and we're doing it together, which is just so lovely. All right. So I've got a lot of questions and I'm going to get through them pretty quickly. So Hang with me. Um, my attempt is to answer all of the questions that were posted. <laughs> so, um, like I said, hang with me and we'll go through them. Okay, so I've got a screen right here. So I'll be reading from the screen and back to you, um, back and forth. Renata, hello, amen. May this year bring you profound healing. Thank you, honey. And the same to you and the same to every single person listening um, live or when they listen to the replay, I really, really wish from the bottom of my heart that everyone has incredible healing this year. Let's move forward. Let's, let's take it to the next level. Let's improve what we've been doing before and um, really make strides with our health, right? So I'm super excited. Also, Medical Medium did this live about detoxification last Saturday and I'm so glad that he did that live. It just was a game changer um, for many people. I've been saying uh, similar things to what he said on the live that many people's symptoms are not detoxification. I've also said many times that um, uh, you know that our that our symptoms uh, are not detox, and detox is often kind of milder. You don't feel so good, maybe, but it clears through. And, um, but the actual symptoms that we experience when we're struggling is we experience symptoms, um, of actual viral poisons, pathogens, toxins, all the crap that makes us sick, right? All right. So, um, I'm going to start with the questions cause that's why all of you are here. So busy Lizzie says, um, uh, when the simplified three, six, nine, can I eat cooked vegetables? I can I eat MM recipes that are fat free? As long as you are eating according to the 
the outline and the guides, guidance of the cleanse, then you can include any recipe you like. So if it's, um, if it's a, 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 the simplified, you actually have a lot more leeway on the simplified than you do on the original or even on the advanced cleanse. So you have the ability to bring in foods that are cooked foods, veg, veg, vegetable uh, based meals, vegetarian based meals, just cooked veggies, steamed veggies, things like that you can bring in. There's even like the allowance of millet on the cleanse, like you can have that. So there's a lot of allowance on the cleanse. So I hope that you use that to your um, advantage and are able to, uh, you know, do something and create meals that are really tasty and healing for you because that's uh, really helpful. That's really helpful. Okay, next question is from uh, someone, uh, Lakwan Nichiki, Lakwan Chinki. Okay, I got it. Lakwan Chinki. Uh, Ma'am, I want to start medical medium protocols. Can you please give me some guidance on how to start? I have gut issues. So with gut issues, I recommend starting with uh, lemon water and celery juice in the morning. You have your lemon water um, for, you know, in the morning, you wait 20, 30 minutes, then you have your celery juice, you wait 20, 30 minutes. And then after that, I recommend that you consider buying the Cleanse to Heal book and doing the mono eating cleanse and choose, say if you're starting, choose the potato cleanse. Um, You eat potatoes and butter leaf lettuce all day. And then in the afternoon, you have more celery juice and then uh, you round out the cleanse uh, in the evening. Uh, That's pretty simple. It's so simple to do. And if you did that for a week, it would help your gut issues a lot. If you're just starting and the mono cleanse is too much for you to consider doing, then I would just do the lemon water and the celery juice in the morning and then we'll focus on cutting out eggs, dairy, gluten, corn, soy, canola and focus on eating more fruits and vegetables and keep potatoes for dinner every day. That's a good place to start for healing your issues. All right, next question is from not Michael Jordan. Um, Why do you recommend waiting 9 to 11 months to start solid foods for children? Because... Um, really, um, under one is for fun. That's what we say. A lot of people say this, including many, um, professionals who work with feeding young babies and children, they need all of their teeth to be able to chew. And that's also an indication that the digestive system is ready to digest more food. So that's why we wait until they're more ready to eat. The interest that kids have in food under one is often just to play and be curious with it. They want, they put everything in their mouth. So if you see them putting food in their mouth and you're like, oh my God, they're putting food in their mouth. They must be wanting food, but they put everything in their mouth, right? If you're feeding them and they're well fed with, um, breast milk, um, which is what we recommend as well. No shame on anyone choosing something different, but breast milk is the most, um, the best way to feed a child, uh, under one, then they're pretty full with breast milk. They don't need anything else. So we recommend bringing foods in towards the one-year mark or after. Um, Next question is from Nora Westby, and she says, uh, Esther C., while pregnant, also taken Gaia liquid iron. Is that a good one? You can definitely take Gaia if you're looking to increase iron levels, and you can look at bringing in nettle leaf, red raspberry leaf, and spirulina, barley grass juice powder. These are all really helpful for raising iron levels while pregnant. When it comes to micro C, whether you can take that when you're pregnant or not, I would only recommend that if I did a consult with a pregnant mama to make sure that she was okay to take it because it's not one of those supplements that generally is recommended during pregnancy. So again, that I would do in a consult. Navreet says, what is the root cause of dried blood in the nose during winter? Often it's streptococcus that's in the nose medical medium has said before that when you have a nose bleed, you will bleed out because there's streptococcus in there. So if there's dried blood, you're bleeding, but it's drying up. So it's not too bad. So, you know, you can do the golden seal spray. The, um, the, the eye wash recipe is on my website. So go look that up, go look up golden seal eye wash. You can use the same recipe, put it into a nasal spray and use that in your nose Um, and that should help 
And also you can put a little bit of like coconut oil in the nose to prevent the dryness. And sometimes it's because of the dryness that also the, um, the, um, you can have burst vessels, but often it's strep that's involved with that. Christy, thanks for sharing my website. Um, I'll put in the comments. So the website's right here and you can go check that out. All right. So next question is what is the best way to store and prevent potatoes from sprouting or turning green? To slow down the sprouting process, I recommend putting potatoes in a cool, dark place like a basement or a cellar where, where it will slow down the sprouting. You cannot prevent it, but you can slow it down. And then you said, can you eat garlic that has sprouted? Uh, what is the best way to store it? I'm not sure whether Medical Medium says it's okay to eat garlic that's sprouted, but um, I have sometimes eaten garlic with tiny little sprouts on it, and I've done that. But I'm thinking that if it, they're pretty big, then I wouldn't eat that garlic. The next question is, when meal prepping for the week, how long is the food good for in the fridge? It depends on the food. If you have, for example, juices, you can only store them for about 24 hours, just like you can store brain shots in the fridge for about 24 hours. Smoothies, you can last in the fridge for about three to four days. And for cooked foods like potatoes, I find steamed potatoes are good in the fridge for about three or four days as well. After that, they start to get moldy. And salads are like only good in the fridge for about, I would say, again, 24, 36 hours. But beyond that, they start to get wilty and wet and nobody wants to eat a mushy salad, right? <laughs> raw food is hard anyway if you're doing raw food, but you really want your raw food to be um, fresh as much as possible. So um, if you're going to make other foods like other cooked foods, if you have millet or chickpeas or, um, you know, lentils and things like that, those foods can last even longer in the fridge. They can last for up to a week. And if you make a curry or you make something with more spices and salt in it, that will preserve it and that will last longer in the fridge as well. So the less that you put in your food, like if there's just plain steamed potatoes, again, their shelf life is shorter. But if you say had a potato salad with some salt in it and other things in it, that might last you a bit longer. Um, Plant-based for healing asks, is it okay to make a heavy metal detox smoothie and freeze them for three days and thaw it out, or does the cilantro lose its potency? When it's, um, when it's uh, basically in the mix and it's all blended in, um, it's broken down, so it's not the same as putting fresh cilantro leaves in the freezer, which will break open and lose their potency. So if it's blended in, it's okay, and if you're going to... Um, thaw them out um, and have them, you can do that. Um, there's lots of mamas that make medical mediums, heavy metal detox smoothie into a popsicle and use that for their kiddos. And that's totally fine. Natalia Strakova, Maniza, I'm talking uh, your Rise Up. I'm taking your Rise Up program and I cannot rave enough about it. It's freaking diamond. Oh, I'm so glad you love it. I'm so, so happy you love it. Rise Up is our practitioner training program. And if you'd like to know more about that, you can DM me and I'll share more with you about it. Um, thanks for sharing, Natalia. I'm so grateful. Um, the Rebirth Era says, My 23-year-old nephew is on dialysis. How can he reverse the damage of his kidneys? Kidneys is a lot of work to reverse damage. And um, kidney damage is often viral and a lot of toxic heavy metals and other poisons often exacerbated by having a high fat, high protein diet for many, many years. That makes it worse. So you can take the viral approach. I think many dialysis uh, patients can take celery juice just fine. Um, you'd have to work with the doctor and see what the doctor says. Um, but also, how do you reverse the damage? You have to attack. Usually the virus that attacks kidneys according to medical medium, is the HHV6 virus. That's called the human herpes virus 6, and that is the virus that attacks the kidneys. So you can check that out and uh, use the protocols to support with that. But again, if you're on dialysis, you have to be careful because you know eating foods that are too high in potassium or too high in sodium can alter the balance. So it's harder for somebody with dialysis. It can be done. I have seen people heal from kidney disease um, 
but you have to work very methodically, very slowly, and very carefully with such people. All right, so Melody Ducharme says, what is causing an electrical shock on the top of my head and forehead when I'm suddenly scared or stressed? Electrical shocks like that happen because of toxic heavy metals short-circuiting within the brain. So the adrenaline, um, it scorches the brain, right? It creates more heat in the brain. So when you're stressed and you get more heat in the brain, that heat can cause the metals in the brain to become like more excited and then they spark and they can short circuit and that's what you feel as an electrical jolt. Um, Carly Safari says, what can be done to support the body for a kidney transplant plant, both for the giver and the receiver? That's a really big question, um, Carly. It's one that I would typically respond to and work with somebody in a private consult to actually help them through this because it's such a big thing for both the giver and the receiver. Um, I'd have to know so much about their history and what they can do. But the best thing that you can start with is bringing in the morning cleanse. So doing lemon water, celery juice, heavy metal detox, consult with your doctors because that's important when you're thinking of such a big heavy medical procedure. Okay, our next question is from uh, Annabelle Connor, and she says, why do others feel great on each 369? Um, I eat often and lots, but feel fine, tired, but not great. Um, so when you're tired and you're not feeling great, that's because your adrenals are weak. And when you're cleansing, you can see more clearly what you're not leaning on. Maybe you're leaning on fat to help you feel better with that addictive quality and the adre ad adrenaline releasing quality that fat has that ma masks the symptoms of tiredness. But when you're on the cleanse, you're eating so clean, there's nothing there to mask the symptoms. So it's showing you that you're probably really tired like that most of the time, but it's showing you that you have some healing to do. That's all it's showing you. So you can actually focus on your adrenals a little bit more when you're not on the cleanse and learn how to support them so that you can get stronger and better. And when you do the cleanse the next time, you'll be even uh, stronger. Um, on the Advanced 369, does AW say that we can eat any more of the ingredients if hungry? Yes, you can. And um, that's true for the original and the simplified as well. So when you're hungry, you should just eat, right? So on the Advanced Cleanse, I'm on it right now. And when I get hungry, I'll have more spinach soup or I'll have more liver rescue smoothie. Or, you know, you're allowed to put, say, mango in your spinach soup if you like, if you don't want the tomatoes. And you can put mango in your um, liver rescue smoothie. So if you're at the end of the day and you're still really hungry, you've eaten all the foods that's prescribed for the day. That's really important to eat all the food that's prescribed for the day. And then if you're still hungry, then you can eat either a banana or maybe more apples or a mango or something more that's already on the cleanse, right? Even orange juice, a little bit of that can help. Uh, raw honey, you should not be hungry. I don't recommend that you stay hungry when you're uh, cleansing. Uh, Aaron Grimes says, how to clear or flush out alcohol after drinks? Um, I would do a lot of fruit, first of all, to counteract the loss of glucose of the brain. Alcohol causes brain glucose to uh, uh, like drop very suddenly. So lots of fruit and then lots of hydration because alcohol dehydrates you. So lots of cucumber juice, coconut water, lemon water, watermelon juice, those help the most um, to also get the alcohol out of your system. Vivian Vienev says, I had to drink uh, one liter of water during the whole night because I was extremely thirsty. Is that because of the adrenals? Extreme thirst can happen because of blood sugar issues. It can happen because of the liver. It can happen because you are chronically dehydrated. It can be many reasons. So I'm not sure what to tell you exactly unless I did a consult with you. Or if you want to come into membership, we can talk about it there. And if you are interested in membership, we still have membership open for the year until the end of this month. And it's a perfect opportunity to get your questions answered today. I did a three-hour call in depth going through questions like this, answering people, doing live coaching with them, trying to get them the help that they're looking for to get better. Um, and if you have questions about membership, just type membership into the comment box or IHC and it will send you information about it. Annie 
uh, ST24, how to treat chillblains on the fingers in the winter. First of all, keep your hands warm. That's the first thing. If you can, wear gloves. Um, also, it's a little bit of dirty blood syndrome and a little bit of viral issues going on. So hydrate more. Hydration is really key for chillblains. And to, um, it's a little bit more viral as well. So you want to take up your antivirals, up the core seven. If you're new here watching me for the first time, I really talk about the core seven, um, the core seven antiviral um, protocol, which is, um, I'll tell you what they are. So it's zinc, B12, micro C, lysine, cat's claw, lemon balm, licorice root. There's the core seven. If you're dealing with any kind of viral issue, if you want to start on a baseline anywhere, that is a really good place to start. Just start with those simple uh, seven supplements. If you don't want to do seven, start with zinc and B12. If you can add on a couple of more, you can bring in micro C and lysine. If you want to add on one more, do lemon balm, right? You can, you don't have to do all seven, do what you can, but those are a good place to start. Um, can burnt out adrenals cause severe constipation? No, not really. Severe constipation is called by severe dehydration. And you're the same person who asked about extreme thirst. Dehydration is really important to pay attention to, right? It sounds like you're very dehydrated. And so if you're having coffee or vinegar or a lot of fermented foods, which are fine for some people if you're not sick, but if you're sick and dealing with this issue, I'd really take those things out, take hot teas out of your diet and add in lemon water, coconut water, watermelon juice, cucumber juice, celery juice, bring in more fresh uh, juices to help rehydrate your body. That is a lot of chronic dehydration there. Is a zinc in total immune blend enough? No, it's a very small amount. You need more zinc than that. I just saw that comment pop up. Martha Dimmers, is cucumber juice an important element in healing bloating? Um, I don't think it's specific to healing bloating, but it helps with, de uh, with hydration, so, and it helps to flush. So it can be helpful to many, many conditions, but it's not specified for bloating per se, but it can help. Um, the voice within, how to wash clothes that have been exposed to mold so mold is gone and is safe. Mold is tricky. So there were lots of mold questions from various people. So I'll address the mold questions right now. Some people said, what's the best way to remediate mold? So a very new technique is using dry ice, dry ice blasting. Dry ice blasting helps to remove mold in a very holistic way, a very green way. It can come off of walls and things like that. If you have fabric and mold got into a carpet, upholstery, clothing, bed, bedding, linens, mold is very hard to get out when it's in fabric. So if you're trying to figure out how to, um, you know, uh, deal with clothes, you can wash them, but there's no way to really tell if those spores have gotten in. There's no way to really confirm for sure that you can get it out that way. One technique that I, my grandmother used to do whenever there was moldy situations anywhere is she would put that stuff out into the sun. And I believe that sun really does kill mold because sun, in sunlight, mold cannot survive, right? Sunlight kills all mold. So if you can take those clothes and leave them in hot, hot sunshine, like hot sun, I think that that would kill all the mold in there and you should be okay. Um, I did that in our first home where we had mold. We had a lot of fabric that was exposed to it. So there was things like upholstery that we ended up, uh, you know, upholstered furniture that we ended up throwing away. But like we had children's toys and knitted, you know, things they had knitted from first grade and second grade and their little like lions and horses and I didn't want to throw those away, so I washed them with a wool soap, and I put them out in the sun to dry, and they have been fine. Nothing, after like six, seven years, nothing developed on them, and I thought that that was actually quite helpful. Um, how do you prevent cross-contamination when moving out of mold into a new space? It's about making sure that the things you're taking with you are as clean as possible. So I washed everything that I had 
in hydrogen peroxide. You get the 35%. Go get the 35%. Then you dilute it down to about 12% or so. And you spray that onto all of your stuff. And it can take care of it. You know, they even told us to get rid of our TV because it's that, that, you know, mold can get inside electronics. And you know, that happened like six, seven years ago. We didn't get rid of our TV and our TV's fine. So you have to make um, an educated, you know, um, kind of guess as to what would work, what doesn't work, what to throw away, what not to throw away. But it's just a tricky situation. So I hope those answers were helpful. But there's other ways to remediate mold that include using, you know, chemicals. There are some uh, chemicals, uh, you know, formulations that are now plant-based. They're, they're, um, they're plant-based. They've got, they're tested. They're clean. They, there's, I still think some of them have some fragrance in them. But when you leave it out, and because they leave it out to dry, they really like thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly dry um, the wood and the materials that are affected, once things become completely dry, then you are less affected by mold. Mold grows when, there, when things are wet and when there's dampness. So if dampness remains, the mold can still grow. But if you get the area completely dry, completely clean, you can get rid of the mold in there. So I hope that that's helpful. Annabelle Connor says, top depression tips if 5-HTP hasn't been helpful. I would go with adding orange juice to your daily regimen, 16 ounces of orange juice every day. It's like bringing in the sunshine, adding mangoes to your diet. They're also super helpful. Um, bananas are helpful, especially if you're having 5-HTP and you add it to a banana. The banana helps to absorb the 5-HTP more deeply because it also has natural tryptophan in it. I would also bring in GABA, which helps with the brain as well to help things go deeper. And then um, and I would also do heavy metal detox smoothie. I would do the mood shifter shot by um, Medical Medium in the Brain Saver books. That's super helpful. And um, people who are posting all these questions into the Instagram chat I will answer them soon, just I'm going through the questions that were posted ahead of time first. Um, so, um, you know, for those of you who are asking about um, the Core 7, Adeen Rotman, go to my blog. My website is noted here, munizahmed.com, type Core 7, and they'll all be there. Um, anything while I wait for heavy metals to exit? Yes, you can do all of these things. While you're waiting for heavy metals to leave, celery force is also really helpful for the brain. EPA, DHA, B-complex, 5-MTHF, all super helpful to support you while you, you know, release um, depression in your body, in your brain. Wendy Tuliano, is there any radiation on the biometric photo? What to do? Thanks. You mean when they take your photo for biometrics in the United States? Is there any radiation with them taking the photo? I don't think so. Um, Ketanese Melissa says, are dehumidifiers beneficial for our health? Well, dehumidifiers can be really helpful if you live in a damp environment and they can take the moisture out of the air and keep your air more dry and clean so that it prevents the growth of mold. So yes, they can be helpful. The Cairo suggested my two-year-old eat hard things to expand her palate. What do you think about it? I don't think hard things expand your palate. <laughs> I think other things expand your palate, like, you know, um, the tissues that you have, the kind of raw material you have to grow. But I don't think hard things necessarily expand your palate. I've never heard of that. Um, Carly Safari says, do you know about bardet Bedell syndrome? Is it genetic or heavy metals? There's no syndromes that are genetic. They're not truly genetic according to medical medium. So what really is going on is viruses and toxic heavy metals. The next question is from Monica uh, Jane. She says, which medical medium uh, supplement can be substituted for aspirin? So, you know, fennel has aspirin-like qualities and uh, avocado also has aspirin-like qualities. And if you want to use it, something as a painkiller, you can use a combination of magnesium glycinate California poppy seed, 
lemon balm and curcumin. These all act like Tylenol or aspirin, if you wish. Um, Ali Pak says, my two-year-old's teeth are disintegrating. Started strict MM only in October. Is that the timeline? It's got nothing to do with MM starting in October. Has everything to do with um, acids and ammonia permeability in your child's gut that has probably been going on since in utero. And that is what has been affecting the child's teeth. So work on healing the gut. Bring in celery juice. Bring in aloe. Bring in all kinds of wonderful supports for the gut. Um, and you'll notice hopefully by the time their real teeth, adult teeth come out, that um, they're healthier. Um, next question is um, from Kay Swansburg. How to strengthen the vaginal rectal wall due to being very thin from constipation or childbirth? So I would bring in more silica, aloe, cucumber, watermelon, and these tools, and uh, MSM, nettle leaf. They all help to rebuild um, our, our skin, our hair, our nails, and the tissues of our body. Um, Kate says, can you explain how viruses fight back and uh, create new symptoms, as it says, in thyroid healing? Um, so viruses, just like any other organism, when you try to kill it, it's going to try and save itself, right? So it's going to have a survival instinct. So when they do have a survival instinct, they go to places in the body where they don't usually reside in order to save themselves. And in those areas, they can end up giving you a new symptom, for example. That's how. How tumultuous will this year be? I don't know. But it may be more or less than last year. But from what I've heard, um, there's just some really interesting things coming down the pike. All I know is I have these ideas in my head, but I don't fixate on anything because you just don't know what's going to happen. And you don't, and you know, our prayers and our, and our good works and the good work of light workers all over the world can push back the tide on what darkness can do. So I, it's not helpful to, um, it's not helpful to just keep, you know, trying to predict what's going to happen because it's, it's a very adrenalizing exercise. Healing Melanie says, what's the root cause of a rectal fistula? So a rectal fistula can be caused by an infection that's in the rectal area. It can be caused by an abscess. It can be caused by surgery. It can be caused by a number of different things. Um, someone says, why is mold such a B something something to deal with? Um, and I agree. It really is. I think that mold is a crazy maker, right? If you look at the title of the uh, podcast that Medical Media has on mold, he says in there, it's a crazy maker. And I think it legitimately makes you crazy when you have to deal with mold. I, have, I can speak from personal experience. Do you know what Kawasaki disease stems from? Yes, from toxic heavy metals and Epstein-Barr, a really um, big Epstein-Barr that's quite difficult to deal with. Um, Olia and... Anuchina says the level of hydrochloric acid and acidity of the stomach is the same thing. No, hydrochloric acid in the stomach is, there's seven blends of hydrochloric acid that actually create health in the stomach. And acidity can be acid reflux or the bad acids. The hydrochloric acid that your own body makes is good hydrochloric acid. I, a Lord 624 how to reduce fat, salt, gluten-free grains, and filler foods when emotionally very tied to them. So I would work slowly because with fats, it's often an addiction with the adrenaline. So I would work slowly by increasing the amount of glucose you have during the day and then slowly reduce the amount of fats that you're eating. I don't like, if you're really struggling, don't make sudden changes. Like if you really want to, you know, work with, um, you know, salt, work with really like um, bringing in lots and lots of like potatoes at lunchtime and maybe do half an avocado and slowly like get away from it. It will help you to do it this way. And you can have helped many people to release these kinds of addictions. And also addiction is rooted in increasing a lot, lack of glucose in the brain. So you have to increase a lot of the glucose that's in your brain to release addiction tendencies. Um, and salt, gluten-free grains, filler foods. Also, are you, are, are, do you have maybe an undiagnosed eating disorder? Have you considered why you're so emotionally tied to foods? There could be so many reasons, so you have to compassionately look at it. I'm never a fan of pushing somebody into a difficult state with their diet and their foods when they're healing and they have symptoms because that can just make everything feel a lot worse. So 
I take a gentle approach and a very compassionate approach to figuring out like why you're connect, why you're feeling the way you're feeling. Um, Lisa Marie says, amen, amen, light workers, deeds and actions for the works of good. Absolutely. It can make uh, a big difference. Ita says, what's the cause of tightness in the chest? Uh, often um, it could be Epstein bar or shingles causing um, an inflammation either in the vagus nerve or the phrenic nerves or both that can cause that tightness in the chest. Um, so um, any other mold tests you recommend other than the pro air test or the pro spot test, those are the only two that the industry really uses. And you being able to see it and smell it is also a test. How can I heal my bunion? So bunion, um, I recommend getting um, the bunion booty and that can help along with lots and lots of silica, aloe, um, nettle leaf, MSM, and an antiviral diet, an antiviral program like the Core 7, because that helps to release, um, you know, uh, toxic uh, viral, viral loads. And EBV is at the root of bunions, so you want to really get rid of all of that. Um, Best way to remediate mold from the fur of my cat. I told you there were a lot of mold questions today. So, um, oh gosh, I don't know. Spray your cat with some gentle hydro, um, hydrogen peroxide. Nothing that's going to burn, but just a gentle enough spray. And have your cat go in the sun. Being in the sun, I think that's the best thing. Mystic fire. I have brown spots on my legs from calf to ankles. What can cause this? These are called liver spots, like melasma, right? So liver spots. They come from having a toxic, sluggish liver. What causes big green veins on the legs? Can they be healed? It can come from having dirty blood syndrome or Raynaud's syndrome, or it can come from, uh, you know, where you have additional fat or, or uh, tissue growth that can happen because of poisons in your body. And then the body grows additional veins to that extra tissue to supply it with, with oxygen um, for growth. So it can be various reasons, but they're all really connected into the liver. Um, I am mag blog. Can anaplastic thyroid cancer be cured? Um, I'm not allowed to say anything can be cured. It's illegal to say that. So, um, can it be supported for sure? Can you get, um, can you push back on some symptoms for sure? You can, you can have improvements in these symptoms. No problem. But yeah, I'm not allowed to say no one is not even a doctor actually is allowed to say that you can cure anything, not even scurvy, even though they know the exact reason for scurvy happening. So we have to be really careful in how you ask questions so that I can answer them to the best of my ability. And also, so another question is on Abba, a Ben gig podcast. What is the cause of erectile dysfunction? It's caused by toxic heavy metals. Um, soul petals, baby wants to eat everything off the floor. That's what babies do. So don't let, I mean, I, if your baby's at home, make sure you're clean, you're floor is sanitized it's clean with non-toxic cleansers and cleaners and make sure that their toys and things that are clean make sure your kitchen floor is clean and then if you're okay and comfortable with the cleanliness of your floor if your baby wants to eat something off the floor that's fine my kids also ate tons of stuff off the floor and um, sometimes I would get to it and take it out of their mouth but sometimes I wouldn't and they're they're doing okay so I guess that's fine um, is it okay to start giving some grains and salt to a one-year-old I don't believe in, I personally never gave grains to my children um, at a young age. I don't, I focused on fruits and vegetables mostly. But if you wanted to start with lentils, um, I would go with lentils rather than grains. I think grains are harder for them to digest. Uh, soul petals, babies fussy and not calm at 11, has a history of acid reflux. So there's many ways to try and figure out what's going on for your child at 11 p.m. I don't know 11 p.m. or 11 a.m. But um, if they have a history of acid reflux, if a baby is fussy, something's going on with the baby, right? They're not happy. Something's wrong. And so, you know, you could walk them around. You can soothe them. You can give some lavender massage. I do. There's a colic massage that I taught in my revival program where my um, friend who's an infant massage therapist would work with babies to calm them down even when they got fussy. And a lot of the tools that we shared there were really helpful. If you'd like the link to that, uh, DM me and I'll get it over to you. Uh, soul petals. Is it normal for a baby to wake up every hour at 11 months? Um, exclusively breastfed. Already rules out, ruled out tongue tie. Yes, it can happen. 
Um, it can happen. Babies change their sleep patterns uh, all the way up until three, four years old. They can, you know, be changing their sleep pattern. So is it normal in that? Does it happen? Yes, it happens. And is it normal? It can be. It can be changed because if they're growing, if they're having a growth spurt, their sleep pattern can change. If they're having uh, teeth growing or they're teething, their sleep pattern can change. If they, um, you know, sometimes they can sleep extra. Sometimes they get super hungry. Sometimes it could be various different reasons. So yeah, it can happen, soul petals. Van B514, mom is suffering from cardiac insufficiency and didn't find much about it in the MM books. Um, do you have any suggestions? So cardiac insufficiency can mean different things, but one of the things it can mean is that you're not pumping enough blood out and getting enough, um, there's no efficiency of the heart pump. So the heart muscle could be weak and that could be because of poisons. It could be because of viruses. HHV6 could be involved. Other bugs could be involved. So it's a question of um, looking, listen to the heart health uh, radio show from Medical Medium on the podcast and uh, bring in Hawthorne Berry, bring in CoQ10, bring in extra antioxidants, like bring in spirulina, bring in barley grass juice powder, wild blueberries, really important, um, reishi, really important. All these things are super supportive of the circulation and the heart. So um, yeah, listen to the Heart Health podcast. Jenny Ann says, the root cause of cracked heels. Why can one heel be dry and cracked and not the other? That's from the liver and it's got to do with a sluggish liver. Um, all right, so another question is, Shen, can you please talk about cryotherapy, trendy trap or benefits? Totally trendy trap. It's like taking an ice bath or an ice cold shower. It's a trap. Don't get involved with that. Um, next question is from I Love MM Healing. I use two bunches of cilantro a day. Am I going backwards by buying conventional? No, there's still so much power in the fact that the heavy metal detox will remove any, any pesticides that were on the conventional, make sure it's well washed and you'll be fine. MBV Vigef says, what will help with scar tissue after my nose broke? Never had a bump. So um, I would use sea buckthorn oil by living libations. I would use aloe, silica, um, and sweet potatoes. Uh, raw sweet potatoes rubbed onto the scar will help. Um, Anya shines, how many nori a day from Pacific Ocean is okay to eat? Are they bad or not? They're fine to eat, um, but Anthony does say to use stuff from the Atlantic Ocean as opposed to the Pacific Ocean, but if you're going to eat it, a few a day, I guess, would be fine. Uh, is durin a healing food? He has not mentioned durin to be a healing food. All fruits and vegetables have some healing qualities, but uh, durin is high in fat, so it's not been mentioned yet on the medical medium uh, by medical medium yet. Anya shines, how many scoops of micro C powder? Is it okay to take daily? Oh my gosh, that totally depends on what you're trying to heal and your, and your own um, history. So I can't give you a dosage. Um, but start with the dosage that's on the back of the bottle and go from there. How is it better to take vitamin D from Vimergy as opposed to what? Um, so it's better because it's a cleaner supplement and it's more effective. The Vimergy is just more effective overall. Is it healthy to eat wakame from the Pacific Ocean? The less you can eat from the Pacific Ocean, the better. That's just going to be my general advice. Um, 144,000 underscore marina underscore 777. I love the numbers in your handle. I'm holding... Um, uh, so I don't want to feel different or better than everyone else. I have PTSD and this is stressful. Being on MM and not eating no foods... Um, I feel different than everyone else. And so, um, yeah, I'm so sorry that you feel this way. Chronic illness is what really isolates us and makes us feel different. Um, but in fact, when you do the protocols, the protocols help to heal you. They help to make you feel better. They help to um, bring you back to life. They help to connect you back with your family. So even though you feel different for now, it's temporary while you heal so that you can come back to life with your family. So... I hope that that helps. Laura says, can you kindly explain? Um, sorry. Not sure. That question got cut off. Um, all right. So um, is a heavy metal smoothie good for healing pots? Oh, it's excellent for healing pots. So definitely check that out. 
Ivana Ladybug says, what MM tools and supplements are beneficial for liver pain? Celery juice, shaga, uh, mullein, uh, um, schizandra berry, um, and doing the 369 cleanse is super beneficial. Wild blueberryna, what causes wavy scalp tongue, toxic sluggish liver? Um, is Pranamat okay for weak adrenals and MS symptoms like vertigo, brain fog, inflammation? I personally don't recommend like prana the reason medical medium does not recommend acupuncture is because of needles going into the skin so with acupressure if it's really pointy it can have a similar effect although it's not as bad as acupuncture but it depends on you if it triggers you then don't do it but if you're okay with it then it's fine it just depends on you um Another mold question. My house has mold. Is it impossible? It is impossible to move. What can I do to protect myself? Do the mold exposure shot from Medical Medium Brain Saver books. That is really, really super, super helpful. Um, so our next question is, I have ME, CFS, and histamine intolerance, but I cannot find peace. I have severe restlessness, stomach pressure, reflux. I'm easily startled by noises, and I freeze, and I go into shock. Um... I've been drinking lemon water and celery juice for six months and cutting out all no foods, but I have no improvement. What can I do? So you probably need deeper tools. So you probably need to bring in, um, you know, some uh, heavy metal detox smoothie. You probably need to bring in some liver support like milk thistle or liver rescue smoothie or thinking about doing one of the cleanses. Those will help you to move the needle a little bit more on your health. Um, next question is from Psychologist Ben. Intolerance to banana, coriander, dulse. What can I do to replace to drink HMDS? Um, so you can replace the banana with mango. You can um, leave the coriander out and use parsley instead. And you can leave the dulse out completely. And you can do three of the five main ingredients or four of the five main ingredients and still have a lot of benefit. Panme Judy, can you share what helps to heal a C-section scar? Does it include eating sweet potatoes? Yes, and rubbing sweet potatoes on the scar. Go back and listen to my previous answer to somebody who wanted to know about a scar on their nose. Um, Light says, feeling more fatigued after 369, but ate a lot and every hour. Any idea why this could be? Because you could be, um, I'm not, I'm not sure if you brought fat in or salt in after the 369, did you experience any stress? There could be a number of reasons why fatigue, um, you were feeling fatigued. Colleen says, can people with reactions to nuts eat chestnuts? Yes, you can eat chestnuts because very often chestnuts are not included in the nut panel and they are fat free. Um, uh, Barry Manilow says, I'm a three year survivor of Hodgkin's lymphoma. Are cleansing protocols okay for me? I would say they're not only okay, they would be so helpful. So yes, I would say so. Did you work with anyone struggling with long-term amenorrhea? Yes, I have. And the key is to heal the reproductive system, do the core seven, bring in nettle leaf, red raspberry leaf, bring in a, a lot of cleansing is really needed for healing amenorrhea and get rid of the poisons that are sitting in the reproductive system. Healing Single says, what MM protocols do you recommend for a family on a very limited income? I would say do celery juice and uh, potatoes and butter leaf lettuce if you can. Focus mostly on those foods if you can, and that can be helpful. Plus, you can focus on bananas, which are also quite inexpensive. Um, Canyon Fan 92 says, inflammation in the intestines and pain. How should I proceed besides SS and LJ? What's SS? LJ. I don't know what LJ is. Um, and omitting no foods. I think um, the best thing to, for you to do is to do the mono eating cleanse. One light closer. Do you wear a face mask while shopping or in public? Um, it depends. It depends on the area. It depends on the season. It depends on if it's super crowded. I'll make a choice based on my health. And um, if I see a lot of people coughing and, and things like that, I might. But not all the time. Uh, do you think solar flare will cause the grid or internet problems in 2024 or 2025? Honestly, you guys are asking for me to predict the future. I have no idea how to predict the future. Just know that it could come and we just have to have our peace with it and be ready, right? In any way that feels good to us. 
Um, has MM, MM said anything about hyaluronic acid? Never heard him say that. How do I protect my teeth? I got caries since doing the MM diet. You didn't get caries from doing MM. Caries happens over decades, and it's because your, your um, teeth are like time capsules, and they take forever. They take a long, long time to develop issues in them. So this has been happening for a long time and often related to the health of your gut. You also mentioned earlier that you were having gut problems. That's probably why your teeth are affected. Go listen to The Teeth Show by Medical Medium and read my two blogs on teeth. My website is here and you can, it's munizaahmed.com and you can go read those blogs and learn more about how to take care of your teeth. Um, doctors will always tell you to eat more protein. More protein, unfortunately, is not the answer. Um, so... A question from Soul Healing Catherine. Is there an equation for how many months of cleansing we need to need for how many uh, prescriptions taken? No, there's no way to have a, pres- uh, a formula for that. How do you retain hope when we're up against so much? Because I know in my heart that God always wins. You can never throw God off the throne. You can never win against the light. The light will win. That is the prophecy written in the holy books. Is written in the medical medium books, and I thoroughly, deeply believe that even though life is hard and we may lose some battles here on earth, we're going to win the war. And the more people that believe that and believe in God, the more that gets strengthened all over the world, globally, and in the universe. So... And Inanna says, when I do micro-C shock therapy, two days afterwards I have diarrhea. That's very normal. It can happen. Uh, Micro-C can do that. Um, Anticipating fragrances and walls when we move soon. Tips for minimizing this issue. I would scrub the walls if you can. And, you know, use an IQ air filter to clean the air as much as possible. So, um... All right, so more questions I had. Um, What is the best thing to do to heal sensitive, sometimes aching tooth after a filling has been done a few weeks ago? I would swish with celery juice. I would swish with, um, I would have more aloe. I would have more golden seal and um, try those solutions. Hopefully they will help you. Uh, What does Anthony say about outdoor hot tubs? Um, They're very helpful for my pain, but I'm concerned about the chemicals. It's possible to get a salt water hot tub. It doesn't have no chemicals, but it has fewer chemicals. So I would start there. Um, what is the maximum amount of silica that you can do in a day? I, there's no way for me to tell you that because I don't know you. And each person is different with what they can take and what they can use. So if you want more guidance with this, please join membership. Type the word membership in the chat box and we'll send you information. Or you can type IHC, Intuitive Healing Community. And you can still get in on the annual membership. Who here has questions about the membership? Because we help people in the membership every single day. And the goal is to answer these types of questions in more depth so you can actually get answers and results um, that you can uh, use to heal, right? Um, So what do you think? Is it okay to add the new vitamin C powder and HMDS and liver rescue smoothie? Um, Yeah, if you want to do that, that's okay if you'd like to do that. Um, what are the most calming elements for tingling, numbness, and burning sensations for facial neuropathy? This is by Nili. Hi, Nili. Um, I would do um, ALA, magnesium glycinate, neuromag, curcumin, California poppy. They can be the most helpful. And, of course, lemon balm. Um, can men's hair loss and thinning be reversed with protocols by healing the liver and restoring the adrenal glands? Uh, yes, it can be, unless it's genetic. Genetic Uh, type balding does not get reversed. Um, So yeah, so we had a ton of questions. Somebody said, what causes itch attacks on legs and back? According to medical medium, if you don't have eczema or an overt rash, then it's probably a maddening itch shingles that could be doing it. Is hydroxyapatite toothpaste safe? I know Living Libations has one. Would I use theirs? I would probably try it. Um, I do think that theirs is probably clean enough to try but I don't have that information from medical medium. So um, 
Can long-term inflamed facial nerves affect the vagus nerve and the cause of chronic vagus nerve issues? Yes, facial nerves are connected to the cranial nerves, and vagus nerve is also a cranial nerve. So it's not that the facial nerve will affect the vagus nerve, it's the pathogens, it's the viruses and the toxic heavy metals that can affect all of the cranial nerves, including the vagus nerve and the facial nerve. Um, do we have to let ingredients dry before making MM shots? Uh, if you want to, you can, but it's not necessary. If you don't have time, you can just juice them and be done. That should be okay. Um, advice, please, for the end of pregnancy, postpartum, from healing from serious chronic fatigue syndrome, POTS, viral symptoms, being on bed rest, unable to get support, and keep up with daily juicing and meal making. It's easy to starve and not get enough calories, but otherwise symptoms are worse. Okay, so can you get help? Can somebody help you make your food? But at least if you could get potatoes in or do, um, you know, the mono potato diet, at least that way you'll get enough calories in. And it's simple without having to do, do too much excess work. Okay, so somebody says, why does zinc cause headaches? Zinc doesn't cause headaches. Headaches are caused by inflammation of the vagus nerve or the trigeminal nerves. And that is... That's, that's what really causes the headache. Zinc does not cause, zinc is not the root cause of a headache. Uh, what can you do for a nerve impingement in the shoulder blade? I'm normally very mobile in the shoulder, but pain in the 60 to 90 degrees. Did an MRI, it doesn't show anything. I would say then um, work with some massage therapist, try and get some massage on it. And I would work with, um, I'm just thinking what you could do. So... I would work with um, bringing in some shingles protocols, like bringing in golden seal, propolis, ALA, mad glycinate, California poppy, um, neuromag, things of that nature, and curcumin to help with that. All right. Um, what can you take for tightness in the chest? Uh, similar to what I just explained, these uh, supplements will help you eat a, what I just mentioned. Um, can you do acrobatics while healing and cleansing? Yeah, if you're normally doing acrobatics anyway and you start your healing cleansing and you want to continue, I think that that's fine. Um, will this live be posted? If Instagram lets me post it, then yes. Um, um, Plant-based for healing. Does red light therapy help with healing and joint pain and muscle spasms? I think that red light, I think that infrared therapy, infrared light, goes deeper than red light therapy um and it, although the warmth and probably the light frequency can be helpful for pain i have seen people say that it's been helpful to them so if you're thinking about using it then yes but just know that infrared heat and infrared light is actually more beneficial um our ultrasounds safe um they're safer than most other diagnostic tools um but they're not quote unquote, 100% safe because they still have some mild radiation. Um, the voice within, thank you, Manisa, I appreciate it. I'm also going to set up an appointment to go deeper, RE mold and best healing practices. You're more than welcome. I will be happy to support you, Carrie. Um, can I store travel luggage in the garage due to cost? Sure, you can, not a problem. Um, Gamer Hale says, thank you for everything. You're so amazing. Thank you for listening and being here. Um, Christy Barkley said, we had black mold on a piece of wood at our old house. We put it out by the trash and it disappeared after a couple of days. If it gets enough sun, it will go away. Sun is amazing. Can't guess my breast implant removal until next year. Already doing celery juice and heavy metal detox. Anything else that can, that can help until my surgery? Yes, lots of cleansing doing 369s, doing the 28-day cleanse, will start, to, and lots of hydration. So getting in that cucumber juice to help move out those poisons that are coming in from the uh, breast implants. Um, bilingual scrapbook. I'm on the membership. I was told to add alpha lipoic acid for a very persistent TMJ. For dosage in the books, where do I see the dosage? Um, you can find the dosage in the shingles section, of the cleanse to heal book or the medical medium revised and expanded book and you'll find it in there 
Um, hi, medical medium family. Nice to see you here. Is the zinc in the total immune bone enough? I think I answered that. Um, what are the top things I can do? Remove grains, 369 cleanse. Can't seem to see a shift. Pembe, 1983. Tell me what symptoms you have because I cannot just predict that. Um, Adeen Rutman, membership is $67 a month or 630 for the whole year where you get two and a half months for free. And you get a lot of bonuses along with it. So um, go check out the link on my page if you go to munizahmed.com and click Intuitive Healing Community or Membership. Um, it's under Work With Me and click Membership and it'll take you right there. Um, why are breasts sensitive? Is it viral? Is it EBV? Can it be nervous system? Are there topical recommendations? So it depends. Every woman's a little bit different. But if you get sensitive around your cycle and around your period, that happens because more fluid fills up into the breasts. And if there's a little bit of inflammation in the breast anyway, that can make you feel like you're um, a little more tender, right? Because there's underlying inflammation there. And that can often be Epstein-Barr along with poisons. Lydia Claire Photo says, can I repeat advanced cleanse days 8789 if I don't want to lose weight but want to keep detoxifying? Absolutely. How do you think that weight loss happens on the 789, 789 repeat? It happens because fat cells often swell up with poison. And in order to lose those poisons, that's why the juicing every three days it's so helpful because it helps you to go deeper with the cleanse, right? We know that a juice day can help us go much deeper. We know that the nine day nine of the cleanse, we wait for day nine because the day nine helps to remove so much poison that's been released. And so when you do it seven, eight, nine, you're helping to release more poison every three days. So it does go a little deeper. Um, I have done it without needing to lose weight or anything, and it helped me let go of my fatigue. I, I had deep fatigue after my neurological Lyme disease, and after I got the bite in my arm from a really toxic, poisonous spider, and um, it's the only thing, actually, that helped me gain my energy back and let go of fatigue. Can we have other fruits other than apples in between meals? Yes, you can have any of the fruits that are already recommended on the 369. Um, so, Kat, Katanese Melissa says, How can I help my daughter's teeth get whiter? She has a couple of brownish small patches. She's two years old. It's very hard to get those patches off. You just kind of have to wait until, you know, they those teeth actually um, drop out and you get the new adult teeth. So if you want to, you can use like a hydrogen peroxide based mouthwash or a hydrogen peroxide based, based toothpaste and that can be helpful. What are the top things to help with circulation? I'm on off of no foods and CJ daily morning cleanse, etc. So um, with circulation, I highly recommend using olive leaf and reishi. They're very helpful for circulation and um, and also thinning out your blood and reversing chronic dehydration. Dehydration reduces your circulation. So make sure that you're, according to Medical Medium, there's an old Facebook post where he said that Spirit said that drinking 14 ounces of living water every hour actually helps to reverse chronic dehydration. So that would also help your circulation. Um, uh, Nanato says, is it okay that I make my fresh juices, ginger root, turmeric juice, and root for five days and does it lose medicinal properties? If you freeze it, it won't lose medicinal properties. But if you don't, within 24 hours, it would have lost a significant amount of the properties. What is the best supplement for a clicking jaw? My husband has started experiencing this. Um, it depends on what the root is. Is he more viral? So you then have to address the viral issue, could be shingles, could be EBV, um, but bringing in curcumin, maglycinate can be helpful for that, Kobe. Um, and then um, Chris Dent says, I'm 14. Hi, Chris Dent. 
I've done one month of mono cleanse and six consecutive 369s. That's amazing at 14. And I'm taking MM supplements and still struggling with acne. Do you have tips? Make sure that you do a cup or two of strawberries every single day in your smoothies because strawberries help to clear acne. And also make sure you're doing plenty of aloe, which helps to clear acne. And drink the 14 ounces of water every hour and do a little bit of rebounding, which helps to hear, heal and clear out acne. Um, Tanya says, I keep my potatoes in the fridge and it helps a lot with spreading potatoes. Yes. Um, does oil act the same in the nasals or vaginally as it does in the intestines, giving pathogens a cozy nest? Um, you know, it's not quite the same as it is in the intestines because that's meant for digestion. Um, in the vaginal area and in the, in the nose, it can be helpful in the winter to just give you a little bit more comfort. Um, Plus, it's loose skin, so it gets absorbed into the skin and gets moved out by the mucosal passages, and the mucosa will move it out as well. So it's easier to move it out in those areas. Set loose. When adrenaline goes into, gets going for me, my skin gets flush red for a while. Any solutions um, to avoid the redness? Probably not. But managing adrenaline, you know, making sure you're doing adrenal healing snacks, uh, adrenal fight or flight stabilizer shots, those can be helpful. Licorice root, ashwagandha can be helpful as well. My child is starting swimming lessons soon. How to support his body from all the nasties in the water? Um, the morning cleanse, super helpful. Anti-chlorine tea from the revised and expanded medical medium book. And um, I would do a lot of flushing. Make sure they don't drink the water. Make sure they wear goggles to protect, but, you know, that's the best you can do in a public pool. All right, so um, Birding Around Town says, glad to hear you're well. I was wondering about my mom. Her eye cries a lot, and the same side nostril drips too. She gets a headache, gets a mucus layer on the eye. What is it and how to heal? It sounds like it might be strep, um, but I don't know if there's an injury or something else going on either. Has she had it checked by a doctor? Um, Michelle says, my father needs hearing aids. Do we need to worry about the radiation? If he needs hearing aids, you've got to get them. And then if he is, if you're worried about radiation, um, you can do a radiation exposure shot maybe every few days for him. Um, okay, I think I've answered. There's so many people on here. Let me know if uh, you have any more questions. I'm getting ready to sign off, but let me know. Um, Jonathan Richard says, check out Liver Rescue, where he talks about it in there and shares healing tips. Yeah, so, hey, MD with spirit. It's a miracle that she didn't die after getting bit. It's a miracle I didn't die because medical medium protocol saved my life. Medical medium information saved my life. Um, how can you treat high levels of bilirubin in the liver? That's right. It's all noted in the liver book. Um, high bilirubin is a function of a very sluggish liver and a liver that's hurting. So bringing in milk thistle, bringing in lots of support for the gallbladder and for the liver, um, liver healing foods, doing the 369 cleanses, they will all support that liver to heal. Um, like cruciferous vegetables are very helpful for that specifically. But if you read the book, he's got so much more information in there. How common is mold on wooden floors? It depends on how wet those floors are. Um, the strep feed, strep does not feed off of grain. Grain can make the environment in your body, uh, a little bit easier for strep to thrive in, but it doesn't feed it. Um, but four months ago, I got problems with acne. My face is all irritated. What can several things can cause that. Um, you know, if you have more acne, there could just be more pathogen that's irritating the skin in the lymphatic system. So clearing that out again, aloe, papaya are such helpful tools. And also strawberries. Don't forget about strawberries. They're so, so helpful. Um, 
eat a, you don't want to lose weight, make sure that you're focused on um, the liver. The liver, liver, liver is the source of weight gain or weight loss where you cannot put on weight again. Uh, liver is very important to look at. Okay, and toenail fungus, what can you do to clear it externally? Hydrogen peroxide, silver are helpful. Um, Katie Binkley, can the pandemic bug cause all over joint pain for weeks? No, that's not what it does. It makes you sick, but it lowers your immune system. So if there is an Epstein bar hanging out there while the immune system is lower, you know, while say your immune system is the cat and say um, your EVV is the mouse. So when the cat's away, the mice shall play. And that's what happens, which is why you could have more pain. I'm really sorry you're struggling with that. It's hard. Uh, long COVID suggestions, five months. Um, work on building up your immunity. Do the core seven. Do some cleanses. Bring in more zinc, more micro C, more golden seal, more cat's claw. Um, build up your immunity. That's the most important thing that I will tell you. And if you have neurological symptoms, then work on those from the Brain Saver book because they will really help to turn things around. I've had many people with these types of symptoms that have been able to clear it completely. If you'd like more support in the membership, please write to us. I'll tell you more about it. Or if you'd like to do a consult with me, that's also an option. And you can write to our office, uh, support at munizahmed.com to work with that. Um, okay, so um, when I do heavy metal detox in the moon morning, I feel like I get a glucose spike that gives me a bit of a shake. Um, wondering why. Well, um, have you measured your glucose? Have you checked how high the glucose goes? I think that that's a helpful thing to do just so you have an idea about numbers, right? It's important to track those things and measure them. And um, then you can really see whether it's from glucose or from something else. Um, sometimes adrenaline can also cause that. So yeah, it's a good thing to look at. Um, when I get overwhelmed, my neck swells. Is this an adrenaline problem? Um, it's a liver problem because if your neck is swelling, then lymphatic fluid is filling up. Yes, and stress can cause because the lymphatic fluid swells up when there isn't enough room in the liver to handle it. So it throws it over to the lymphatic system. Lymphatic system deals with those things by diluting the poisons and therefore it holds more water to do so. But the liver is the root of this issue. What does it signify when fingers begin to twist and lose their straight alignment? Um, it could be that you've got more viral stuff going on. Um, stuttering is caused by toxic heavy metals in the brain. Perneal says, what should we do about European bilberries? Perneal, I spent so long answering this question in the membership today. Um, I would recommend getting Vimergy wild blueberry powder. Um, Katie says all over joint pain was also diagnosed along with the, with the pandemic bug. Yeah, I know they do that, but it's not caused by it. It's not caused by it. Heal with Kelly. Do you know the cause of cherry angiomas? Yep. They're caused by poisons that sit in the liver. Um, So Annabelle Connor, I get fatigued after three six nines. I answered your question already earlier. Um, GABA is not the top supplement for urinary incontinence. Demanos, cranberry, golden seal, asparagus, those are all more helpful than GABA. Um, high protein in the kidneys have chronic Lyme. If that's the case, then adjust your diet. Lower the amount of dietary protein that you're eating and increase the amount of um, celery juice and the medicinal herbs and things that can help you overcome that. Um, what causes someone to be born with a hole in their heart? Poisons like toxic heavy metals and viruses. Um, all right, you guys. Ita says, I'm ready to get pregnant. Can you help me on my journey? I absolutely can help you, Ita. Contact us and we'll set it all up. Um, which supplements are good for the liver? Every single one of them. 
is good for the liver. Milk, thistle, burdock root, micro C, lysine, cat's claw, lemon balm, licorice root, olive leaf, all of them support the liver in some way. Um, I did not smell for two years after getting the pandemic bug. How can I recover my sense of smell? Uh, that is caused by EBV attacking your olfactory nerves. So focus on battling EBV. Yeah. Okay, so you guys aren't going to let me go, <laughs> but I got to go because it's time. It's almost seven o'clock here. It's a joy to connect with all of you. It was amazing. Please reach out about membership. Reach out about consults if you need support and you need help. I'm here to help you. I've been here doing this work for almost 11 years and I'm not going anywhere. So if you need help and you need support, please reach out. We'll be happy to support you either in our membership or in consults. And we're here to help you take your health to the next level. Big hugs from me. Mwah, everybody. Bye.